I'm building this pack now and many have been asking why am I not using um, metal case so I'll be using this metal case and you can see this is a screen and this is the box for the small pack and this box is for the one you're seeing there so this PMS you've seen here I'll be showing you how to customize it on the app so start from the B minus so you can see the plus sign goes directly to the B minus okay so yeah so that is it so the next one now we go like this i think yeah so next one we go to this point now the b you can see b minus now goes to directly to the b minus here so this is um positive as you can see so this will go directly on this like this so you can see b minus then p minus is what so p minus will go to the charging okay so power so p stand for power b stand for battery okay so now this is connected so we'll connect this like so then the switch need to go so the switch has a port around here so once i click this now so i have all this connected i should be able to turn this on now so you can see so it's on now and you can hear that beep yes so that means the bms is connected okay so this is the jk app as you can see so this is the new one i've renamed the other ones which is my house one and the testing so if i click on this now so normally this is meant to show a pairing password which is default 111 okay so you can see the time is counting up so it means this bms is new so you can see and it's saying view alarm and all you can see the capacity is not set so i'll be setting all this now so view alarm you can see cell count is not equal so first thing i will do is to go to settings verify password and i will click so the default password is one two three four five six okay so verify once you verify this will come on like this and first thing is we tap this live po4 so we tap live po4 then we change the cell count to 16 so we change it to 16 yes then we change the capacity this battery is 100 amp hours so i will change this to 100 oh no not 1000 100 then that is it then the next thing here i always start balancing at 3.4 so in the next video i'll be showing i'll be explaining what balancing is and how it works so every other thing i will leave it at default but i always change this one to 3.4 as well so i will change the recovery to 3.4 and also soc to 100 percent i always charge to 3.5 so i will do 3 point to 3.49 okay so that is it so every other thing is fine then the next thing is the continue charge continue charge because this um at this bms support 120 amps i will select the maximum which is 120 amps yes so this charge as well so every other thing is fine so that is it so all good so charge and mosfet charge and discharge mosfet need to come on in order for the inverter in order for the battery to charge so, so if you want your display to always turn on you need to put that always on if you have screen connected that will always be on so that's it so you can see it's asking us to modify the password so i will also do that so i always change my password so i'll reset so you can see our capacity has been reset and you can see it's showing all these are estimates okay so i will start charging the battery now until the batteries is Full. so for safety i've added this on top of the battery and you can see the battery is charging now through this 6.2 kV inverter over there okay so it's charging and now you can see we are using a metal box 